Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions. In this video, we've got three champions that I'm going to be taking up to rank three. One of them is my last rank two champion who will be going to rank three in this video. So I have no more rank two champions. And going forward, I will try my best to take them straight from rank one to rank three. Okay. And then as, you know, resources become a little bit more plentiful, they'll go to rank uh, four. All right. So if you think you can guess the three that I'm going to take up, a very hard thing to do because I'm not giving you any hints, leave a comment below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one, Iceman. So little history on Iceman. Way back in the day, Iceman had, um, I think, a double immunity, you know, bleed and poison. And I loved running the recoil masteries. The one problem that Iceman had was damage. Running the recoil masteries helped a little bit, but his damage was still pretty subpar. And that was years ago. Okay. And one of the funny things was that he was not frostbite and uh, cold snap immune. And a lot of people felt that was very, very strange considering you know, who he was and, and what his powers were. But technology or what have you, he was not. Well, recently, they have reworked him a little bit. Um, it wasn't a full rework. It was just a tweaking of numbers and a few other things. Like he is now cold snap immune. So now... We have a champion that is Cold Snap, and I believe um, he is also now, um, what is it, Incinerate? I think he was Incinerate Immune before, is wasn't he? I think he's Incinerate Immune now. Um, I need to check on that. Actually, let me let me check real quick here. Let's go to... Uh, the Aunt May website, because this is something very, very recent. And I want to make sure I get this right, because it was a very nice, very nice um, upgrade. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so yes. Um, he has what's called organic ice, which gives him full immunity, uh, immunity to incinerate, to Nova Flame. He is the first champion in the game to be immune to Nova Flame. No one else is immune to Nova Flame. He is the first. Nova Flame, bleed, poison, cold snap, and frostbite effects. So those are his immunities, all right? So they didn't just do that. That was good enough already, okay? But remember what I said, one of the problems was his um, damage. Well, they have increased his critical chance. He has a 70% chance to inflict a frostbite passive. Frostbite passives last for 10 seconds and deal a burst of energy damage when they expire. You can also burst them immediately if you don't want to wait for the 10 seconds or can't wait. Maybe you got stunned or something like that. And uh, you can just do a heavy attack. Okay. Um, the uh, special attacks, They the final hit of the special one. Uh, will inflict a cold snap debuff, okay? Um, and, of course, he has all the regular things that he normally did, like 
um, anti-evade, the cold snap, you know, shuts down evaders and things like that. But the uh, special one puts cold snap. And while you have a cold uh, snap debuff on, not only will it do more damage, but you're hitting for more. You've got more crit. It's it's amazing. So his damage has gone up quite a bit. Uh, some of the people that have been uh, examining his, you know, uh, changes and they have compared him to the previous unbuffed one, it's a considerable change. In fact, uh, some people are talking about taking him up to rank four. That's how nice the change is. So I was waiting. I uh, The initial look at his rework, it looked okay, but not really, really good. It looks a much better now. Much better. So I'm taking him to rank three. He may go to rank four in the future. I have a special place in my heart for those that have those immunities because I love running the recoil masteries. So anybody that's immune to bleed, poison, um, I'm going to like them. And I try to use them uh, more often. So uh, at, the, uh, at the end of the rank up, I'm going to also awaken him because you'll notice um, he's not awakened yet. But I have a mutant awakening gem. Now, with him, I want him up at rank uh, SIG 200. I do. So if I, uh, in the openings, in the future, if I get, you know, like what usually happens, you know, you use a, an awakening gem and then shortly after... You pull the champion. I'm fine with that because until he's SIG 200, I want to pull him as many times as I can to save uh, the SIG stones. Okay, so um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, just a, a little bit of a, um, a story. Uh, so I used to use Iceman in Alliance War. And again, like I said, because I run the recoil masteries and everything. And the only reason that I stopped was because the health pools got bigger and bigger. I didn't have a six-star Iceman. I didn't have a five-star Iceman. So I'm using four stars against these five stars. And then eventually um, we got these six stars and there was no way. Uh, I was starting to uh, get timeouts because I just couldn't get through the, the health. And because you you had to throw a lot of specials, my health was just going down, down, down. All right. But anyway, that is why I have decided to take up Iceman. All right. So the next rank up is going to be Mephisto. Now, this particular rank up reminded me way back in the day, this was uh, the five star. And the um, one of the members of my alliance pulled him and he had such luck. He always had luck and he pulled him. Um, he, he was also the first, uh, to subscribe to my channel, but I remember he took him and he actually sig 200 right away. And we won quite a few wars because of that Mephisto. There were people that just gave up. They were just like, no, they, they, we actually, when he first came into the contest, there were times where people just gave up and they could not beat him. It was it was ridiculous. He it was insane. It was really insane. Um, but these days, there's plenty of counters. The one that I just ranked up, Iceman, is a counter for Mephisto. So he's not the uh, danger as he was. However, 
he's still a very good champion. I love his soul imprisonment. He just shuts down all their buffs. Just shuts it down. You're done. I like that. Very simple. And he is the answer for some of those um, uh, uh, opponents that gain a lot of buffs, especially in the beginning. And if you are able to keep that rotation up, they'll never get buffs. So you can completely shut down buff dependent uh, champions. He's also quite good in Battlegrounds. And I admit, that is primarily why I am ranking him up to use in Battlegrounds. He's going to be useful, you know, in other places, but I definitely want to use him in Battlegrounds. And he can be used for offense or defense. Like I said, at offense, he can shut down the uh, buffs. They're not gaining any buffs when their soul is imprisoned. But he's also excellent on defense. You're going to have to deal with that incinerate. And if you don't have an incinerate immune champion to go up against him, you got to dance around, and that's taking time. So he is a, a really good defender as well uh, in Battlegrounds. So that's primarily why I decided to take up Mephisto. And last, but certainly probably least, is not a champion that I particularly care for, but he is the last rank two six star that I currently have. And that is Thor Ragnarok. So you guys that have been following me for a while, you know how I feel about Thor Ragnarok. I complained at a five star and I didn't want to rank him up. And my alliance uh, leader at the time, um, who was a Vega man, said he did not want to see people just ranking up for prestige. You know, he wasn't making anybody or pushing anybody to rank up that Thor Ragnarok because he was pretty useless except for prestige. So when I got him as a six star, I was like, yep, and I'm not taking him up for prestige. Ain't no way. And I ended up, I forget why I took him to rank two, but it was eventually to take him to rank three, but I wasn't doing it for um, uh, prestige. I actually wanted to wait and look, we now have rank fives and I'm finally now taking him to rank three. So I waited all that time until... You know, we already had rank fives. We could max out our six stars. Now he'll go to rank three just because I don't want to see him there at rank two. And he's not a terrible, terrible champion. I have no use for him. Uh, I did one video and went into Realm of Legends. Once I hit the uh, special three, he was pretty impressive after the special three. But no. I don't, I don't see myself using him anywhere, really. And he got a rework. He actually got a rework. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys, for the video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the uh, rank-ups. Let me know what you think about these rank-ups. Um, are they good? Are they bad? What do you think? Take care, and you all have a blessed day.